Hey everyone, it's Timothy with Cars in 4K. I'm here with a BMW X3 and just gonna give you a quick walk around video and hope you guys enjoy. It's just gonna be a little bit of a drive and walk around the interior and compare it with a GLC because this is a BMW X3, the 2020 model. So just showing you the interior, very similar to the other BMWs as well, but thought I'd show you just like the differences too. So hope you guys enjoy. Also, thank you for all the support and followers and likes recently. It's nice to see and encouraging, so keep it up. Here's a quick 360 walk around on the BMW X3. And you can kind of see, it has a nice presence. That's when the lights are on as well. And, you know, I mean, it's good uh, beginner driver car or, you know, some, some people think this is like, the college car which is you know it's a nice one for sure but who knows it's a good family car as well you know and it has a good amount of space for road trips too always the funny thing is like why doesn't BMW fold this in like Mercedes the camera but you know I guess that's their own decisions okay so yeah Okay, so here is the 2020 model X3 BMW. So you can see it's in the dark graphite gray. So it has the new grill on the front and new headlight style, which is pretty nice and easy going. Simple on the eyes, not too big of a grill as you can see from the more recent BMWs, but it's pretty nice. I mean, it's very simple has some nice um, Y-spoke 19-inch rims here and um, it's a cool sporty style. It's not the M style rims but easy going you know and you can also tell just kind of by the side there that it's a 3 and X3 and then it would have here a little bit of a backward 7. So yeah you can see that and just a quick walk around it has a nice presence to you know very simple they do feel like a bigger car because for some reason you know bmw has enlarged their cars you know for the models so the x3 is kind of like an old x5 size as you can see it's still a bit longer but uh you have a good amount of back room so i'll just show you in the back here has you know nice wood grain here good cup holders as well has a nice good amount of leg room the only thing i would say is the seats are pretty um you know i'd say like pretty simple and stuff here not too much cushioning kind of like on the 5 series or x5 but yeah it has also this nice pretty full uh, panel roof which I'll open up it as well and has a good amount of um, lighting too which kind of opens up this interior. You can also see in the back here they have um, USB-C ports so I can plug in my iPhone or whatnot in there. Charge it pretty fast. Let's jump into the trunk here so it opens up quite a good amount of space in here you have you know like um, you can open up the seats so I can release them there and it's not too much like a guillotine like that uh, Mercedes GLB but it has a good amount of uh, space in opening you can hang stuff here you can I think that's like a sign for emergency I can open up this and there's the huh, there's a window sticker in there. Okay. You can also I think it has a charging point there. You can pull this closed, you know, and then has a good protected area. Typical for SUVs. Okay. It also has the kicking option where I can kick it and then it will close the 
gate there. So this is an S Drive 30i, which is basically the, I think it's the rear wheel drive option, it's not the um, all wheel drive, so pretty simple, you know, but let's get into the front interior. And yeah, it has a nice amount of uh, interior options here. This is where the seat panels are, or seat controls, so I can control that. It can also change the side bolstering, which is kind of cool there, so I can change that. Then let's get into the interior here. So pretty common BMW interface here, um, pretty simple. So let's turn it on and yeah, it has touch screen. And in my other videos that I did with BMW, you can uh, kind of take a look at how the infotainment system works with Apple CarPlay and whatnot. It's also having, you know, the, what I think is really funny is like, this is such a huge parking sensor button, but you know, I guess they don't want to waste space and they have to have a huge button, which is interesting to me. They have the dynamic select options here, sport. So I can do it in plus, standard or plus there. And let's close the door so you can see the rest of the stuff. So it is a digital instrument cluster, but it has basically this um, kind of three-dimensional three physical uh, instrument cluster, which is kind of interesting. I mean, the thing is, is though, I can really only customize like this section, which I kind of, you know, it's hard to say if people like that or not. I'm not really sure. I'd prefer if you're going to have it all digital, just have it all digital instead of having like these fake instrument placement pieces there. I'm not sure if it's really an option that you can get for a full screen like a Audi or like Mercedes is doing, but yeah. Then you have your buttons here. You can control the volume. I can select, you know, the radio or Sirius XM here. I can also, you know, just change it. And it's very uh, simple you know, infotainment system there, and I have the voice controls here. I can do um, parking and cruise control at this button there. Yeah, so fairly simple. I mean, it's gonna be a quick walk around. Thought I'd just show you the interior. Let's also open up this um, sky roof, which is pretty nice and big. So this section opens up but the whole panel opens up in one good swoop there so I don't have to like press it twice which is kind of nice so I think I just press it again here and then it's going to open up the sunroof portion which yeah it's pretty good I mean you can maybe kick it oh yeah you can press it again but that's kind of weird that you have to press it twice just to fully move it open but whatever so yeah, that's a quick walk around in the interior. Has USB-C ports in there. It also, sorry for the bulb, but it has normal USB there. Um, you know, a good amount of glove compartment space. Has the traditional like buttons from BMW, which are now, these are physical buttons on the 7 series and 5 series. Those I think are touch or like haptic feedback kind of buttons which you know it's different for the different ranges this is the BMW force field button which turns on or off your safety intelligent safety options so yeah it's fairly intuitive and easy to recognize from BMW style so let's okay so I forget BMW you have to pull it twice so forgot about that portion portion <laughs> Okay, so now it should be opening up. There you go. So, has a big amount of space here. You know, a lot of protectant, which is interesting. There, has the twin power turbo. Okay, has a little bit of faux carbon fiber there, which is funny. But uh, yeah, pretty simple engine compartment. You have like the plug for your uh, battery hookup if you need to. So, that's about it.
Let's close it up again. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick drive in the X3 and see how it does. I mean, honestly, from the past you know day or so that I've been driving this car, it has a very comfortable um, driving dynamic. The only thing is, I would say, on the road, it on the freeway, like when it is a little bit windy, it kind of just basically, it seems like it veers to the left as well and kind of has a weird dynamic. You know, I'm comparing them between like a GLC and a in the X3 and it seems still a little bit more comfortable in the GLC just based off of like comfortability and ease of driving. This one also feels kind of like a bigger car as well than it is, you know, basically so. It really depends on people's preference and stuff, you know, if you want to have the BMW style of driving, which honestly for a SUV, I still think like Mercedes does really well on the SUV style because it's a comfortable ride, they have good technologies in their car, and not being like biased and stuff, you know I like Mercedes as well, but it's just kind of difference between having a GLC or an SUV and then a BMW SUV when mainly BMW is for their like driving dynamic style, which you would kind of want more just in a performance car which can be fine for like the M3s and you know the M5s and stuff which is really focused for track or just like performance driving whereas you know an SUV you don't really need that and you can kind of feel that it's still a little bit of a stiffer ride than how Mercedes does it in their SUVs so just a quick comparison I'm not saying any one is better than the other I'm just basically saying it's like kind of what I see in the market of those two cars okay ciao hope you guys so enjoy how you do the shift knob on this car nowadays is some people get kind of confused but basically you just pull this button here and then you pull it into drive there and it's basically on basically on drive then I can if I want to do it in sport manual shifting then I can do that um, so now it is set in sports plus but I don't need to do manual shifting so I just keep it in sport plus here and uh, we'll take it for a spin okay so yeah let's take it for driving the hills here and you can see I mean fairly simple has not too much road noise which is always good I mean right now it's in the sport plus mode so it is a little bit louder than a normal uh, comfort mode for this car higher revving as well but uh, has a decent amount of steering for an SUV I mean right now it's not uh, too sporty driving because there's another slowpoke BMW oh did I say that oh sorry not sorry <laughs> just kidding but uh or not but basically yeah that's um how this driving is oh here's a here's a horse or a pony Nah, uh, that's a horse just a small horse eh, okay whatever but yeah that's um just kind of the driving dynamics as you can see here you have a nice pov view of the cockpit here and it has the traditional kind of like red orange accents from the car which is you know very common in BMW I don't think it has the lighting package on this one but or like the interior lighting but uh, other than that it's quite good okay okay so I hope you guys enjoyed the quick walk around on the BMW X3 so we'll just do a little bit of a drive around as well and just show you how the car is like and a couple uh, you know fancy drone shots maybe so hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching and subscribe if you don't mind that would be cool you know and uh, comment any questions you have as well and hope you guys are staying safe ciao